You can say the revolution created our country. It was the Civil War that made it into the country we recognize today. It would be a mistake to refer to Civil War days as a single event because we have a number of activities taking place simultaneously all in the same place. Of course, we have armies. We have infantry and cavalry and artillery we have medical units. But in addition to the guys with guns, we've got a number of civilian uh, tradespeople. Uh, we have craftspeople. We have blacksmiths. We have sutlers. We have an Indian family because our objective here at Civil War Days is to show the modern public as much as we can what the period was like during the middle of the 19th century. A good example of how the local community is involved in this event is the local vendors that we have here in our event town square. For example, we have a local person who has made uh, honey and has brought watermelon out and other, other kinds of foods uh, so that the public that comes gets to taste what the, what the period was like. You see, we have a sutler. The sutler comes from Kansas. Uh, we have a blacksmith who not only works iron, but they also do leather work so they can show to the public how, at the time, all the metal was created for cooking and also for the horses and also how all the leather is done. And we've got Roy McClure who makes his own banjos that's always a center for music here, and among the reenactors, there are a number of musicians. In fact, we will, just about where I'm standing, on Saturday evening, have a dance, and the dance uh, will involve people from town, people from the reenactment, and we have reenactors who are, who are the band. So we're playing period music, played by, by reenactors, and in some cases, as with Roy, they'll be playing, playing it on period authentic instruments. Our goal at Civil War Days is to make history accessible to everyone. We have a school day program which gives hundreds of area students hands-on experience with mid 19th century life. Our event is family friendly. We never charge for parking or admission. We never want a family to stay away because they can't afford it. The way we see it, the event, just like our history, belongs to the community. What we try to do here at Civil War Days is to present as well-rounded a picture as we can of the period. 